We basically um, see three trends and uh, three issues arising. Uh, the first one is um, to deal with all the regulatory issues, um, which means that you need to prioritize what is coming up, um, what it means for your institution and how do you deal with that. The second one, um, <clears throat> they are approaching in a different way the technical model development, um, basically adapting their models not only to effectively manage risk-weighted assets, but also to take a more forward-looking uh, approach. And the third issue we see is <clears throat> having a clear focus on cost management. So what are the benefits actually of my risk organization and the risk management? and the people involved there and how much cost can I justify to actually do these things in an effective way. I think one uh, of the main lessons uh, from the financial crisis um, within banks is <clears throat> that you actually can have a great risk measurement um, but still you don't use it for risk management. Um, and with risk measure measurement, we mean that usually the models that have been built under Basel II, Basel III, um, but also under <coughs> economic capital approaches, um, usually rely obviously on uh, historic data and uh, historic correlations. Um, this is good as long as you do not have a big shift <coughs> in the industry or in the environment. Um, if you do have such big shifts, then these models simply do not work. That means that you need to incorporate a forward-looking approach um, into your modeling. If you cannot do so, <clears throat> then you have to be very aware of the limits um, the backward-looking models have and um, how do you address that limits regular, regularly in uh, discussions, in management meetings, to actually manage then the risk you see going forward and not only measuring what has uh, already happened to you. BCG can um, add a lot of value in client work <clears throat> by taking a very comprehensive approach, um, meaning that we look at things from a risk management perspective, from a regulatory perspective, and also from a general management perspective. And uh, of course, we would have not done so a couple of years ago, but uh, given the challenges I just described, um, I think there's a huge opportunity to add to the strategic angle we usually have, the technical and uh, the compliance angle, and try to make um, sense of it all in, uh, in, a, in a combined way.